everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today we are gonna be looking at the Coffee in a Classic box for the month of March. I know it's the beginning of April, but I just now received it. If you haven't heard of this box, it is a monthly classic box subscription. There are two size boxes you can get. There's the premium for $52.99 a month with free shipping, and then there's the essentials box for $42.99 a month with free shipping. Both boxes, you can choose either classic literature or children's classics. And with both boxes, no matter which size option you choose, you'll get the classic book, a choice of drink, a bookmark, and two bookish items. Now, if you upgrade to the premium box, which is $10 more, you'll also receive a mug, a snack, and a photo box. Typically, they're just black photo boxes. I'll show you here in just a little bit. I've had this subscription for over a year, and most of them have been a black photo box. I did want to mention in this video, because I don't always mention it in all of my Coffee and Classic unboxings, that they do have an Etsy shop. So in case you are looking for a particular item that you may have wanted in a past box, you just wanted that one specific item, sometimes they sell individual items on their Etsy shop, as well as past boxes on their shop where you can get the complete box. They do charge more on Etsy, so they're like $60 if you want the whole box on their website. This time they wrapped my box in twine. Look at that, they wrapped it. I gotta say, it really does help keep it intact when they do that, because sometimes my lid just pops off when I'm trying to get it out of that box. Let's find out what the book is this month. <gasps> Treasure Island, how fun. They have a Treasure Island box on their Etsy shop that's like an older type box, which I think came out of maybe their children's classics. Maybe it was just a past coffee and a classic, I'm not sure. So I wanna see like, how similar their items are, but I'm really happy that I got one in my subscription because now I don't have to go buy that one in Etsy. First item is a handkerchief. So a handkerchief makes perfect sense for a product because it's, you know, Treasure Island and pirates and bandanas and all that kind of stuff. There's more treasure in books than all the pirates loot in Treasure Island and Walt Disney is the one that said that. How cute. Oh, I really like that. I don't know how I'm actually going to use the bandana, but it has a cute quote on it and it does go with the theme. Hand screen printed bandana from Coffee and a Classic. I don't know what that means. I like it. And it can be usable if you know how to use bandanas. I don't know if I'll know how to use it, but we'll see. Okay, I like the mug. This mug does look like the same one that was in the past box. It is so perfectly designed for Treasure Island. I love that like you can see the maps and the old time ships and the old time compasses and then it says yo ho ho and a bottle of rum which is just so perfect so piratey and it's just a standard size mug I believe this time sometimes they have different size mugs but I still really like this one it's gonna be one of my favorites although I am starting to get like way too many mugs. I might have to start like giving some of my mugs away in giveaways, but probably not this one because I don't know, it's just so fun and piratey. We have Long John Silver Hot Cocoa, which <laughs> was my initials, Long John Silvers. That was my nickname in volleyball. Our coach always gave us all nicknames and my initials was LJS, you know, back when I was in high school. And so Long John Silver was my nickname. <laughs> Anyways, this is orange dark chocolate. That's gonna be an interesting flavor combination. I love the design on it and they do change the designs of the hot chocolate with every single month. And this one has a wood bookmark, Captain Flint feather bookmark, hand printed by Copy and Classic. It's kind of faded, which kind of gives it more of like an old time look, but I can definitely see the pirate there. He's looking out at the ship. I think it's a very appropriate bookmark to have for this month and there's a little hole right here so if you want to thread some yarn or ribbon through it then you can do that as well and then the next is a cast iron pirate sign i do think that it goes well with this book and with the theme i don't know what i would do with it i don't know where i would display it so it's kind of like a really random type decor piece so i'm not exactly sure how i feel about the pirate sign but I understand how it goes with the book and the theme. Obviously, here's the book, Treasure Island, and the snack is saltwater taffy, which saltwater taffy is a good snack to have 
with a Treasure Island book box. The last one I think had popcorn and there was only one left too. And it kind of makes me wonder if they just recycled a bunch of these items. Like they still had a bunch left over so they just decided to create another month with the Treasure Island theme and like cut down on cost and just kind of recycle stuff that they've done in the past because I'm pretty sure like this is the exact mug. I think I saw that bandana and the book. I don't know if this was all specifically the same. Like this could have been a different flavor this might not have been the bookmark that was in there. Let me check real fast. And actually, before I get into that, I just want to say I was a little sad that the Laffy Taffy was just kind of put in there. I thought it would have been like really fun if they put the Laffy Taffy in maybe like even a paper treasure chest, something like that, to have it contained in that way. It would have been a lot cuter, maybe a lot more creative, especially if they are recycling some of the stuff that they had before to cut down on costs, then maybe they could have like added that little extra detail. Let me see. Okay, so you can see here, I've already got it pulled up, that under their book boxes, which is right here, these are the ones that they have available for sale. And this, you can see, it's the exactly same. And I know it just, I just happened to look at this today because I have been eyeing the Treasure Island box and it's the same bandana, same pirate sign, same mug, same style book, same hot chocolate. The only things that are different is this is not a feather bookmark and this is not Pirate's Gold. So they swapped it out for some taffy, which I think I've seen taffy in a past box and it kind of makes me wonder if they just like recycled that taffy too. So I gotta say I'm really kind of disappointed that if you're gonna recycle a book, you know, try to add in some new items so that you're not giving the exact same items to people. And I know it says that there's only one left of this one, but I'm like, is there only one left because they pulled all the other product to create boxes to like reship this out? I don't know when this box came out before in the past because like I said, I've had Coffee and Classic for over a year and I have not seen Treasure Island in it before. So unless it was part of the children's literature or if it was a previous coffee and a classic like classic literature book box that was happened before I signed up but this has been an Etsy for a really long time you can tell me your thoughts if you want to I just I don't know like I said I'm a little disappointed about it but at the same time I'm glad that I got it because I was thinking about buying it on the Etsy shop and now I, you know, I pay less because I have the subscription. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. I'm definitely curious to hear about them this time. Please give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below, and I'll be back really soon with another video. Bye everyone.